a second helping. He was getting awfully cold, but his cold was feeling a little better. And he still didn't have that cup of sugar for his dear old granny birthday cake. So the wolf went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house of bricks. The wolf knocked on the brick house. No answer. Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little porker answered? Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me again. Talk, talk about impolite. He probably has had a whole sack full of sugar. And he wouldn't give the whole wolf even one little cup for his dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. The wolf was just about to go home and maybe make a nice cake and put his second cake with his cold coming up again. He huffed, he snuffed, and he sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled. And your old granny can sit on a pen. The wolf was usually a pretty calm fellow, but when he heard somebody talk about his dear sweet old granny like that, he went a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course he was trying to break down this pig's door. And the wolf, and the whole time the wolf was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene.